Hello fourth graders and welcome to your video on Wednesday's spiral review. Alright, if you have not already put your name on this page, please go ahead and do so right now. Alright, let's look at question number six. It says which number fits all of the clues? You gotta look at these clues. I am a three digit number, so I know that there are three digits in this number. I am between 500 and 600. So I know that my number can all begin with either a 5 or it could be 6. My 1's digit is a 7, so I have to find my 1's digit and put a 7. And when rounded to the nearest 100, I am 500. So I know that I cannot begin with 6, I have to begin with a 5. And when I'm rounded to the nearest 100, that means this number right here has to be a 4, a 3, a 2, a 1, or a 0. It can be a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4. So let's look at letter, uh, choice A. We have a 5 in the 100's place. We have a 7 in the 1's place. And now we have to look at the 10's place. And there is a 4. So we know that A is the correct answer. I notice for letter B that there is a 5 in the hundreds place, but there is not a 7 in the ones place, so that can't be it. For letter C, there's a 5 in the hundreds place, but a 9 in the ones place instead of a 7. That can't be it. And I notice for letter D, there is a 5 in the hundreds place, there is a 7 in the ones place, but then I have to look at that number right there, and that's a 9. And I know that if I have a 9 here, that that becomes 600. All right, so the best answer is A, 547. All right, let's go to the next question, question number seven. Which step explains how the distance between two cities is 18,219 kilometers and is estimated to be about 18,000? So if you take this number right here and you estimate it to be 18,000, you have to decide which place you are rounding to. Well, I notice in my ones place, there's a zero. My tens place, there's a zero. My hundreds place, there's a zero. And think about the rounding wrap. All of the digits to the right turn into a zero. So if all of these digits turn into a zero, what place are we rounding to? Is it the nearest 10,000, which would be where that one is? If we were rounding to the nearest 10,000, there would be a 1 there and then four zeros behind it. Is it the nearest 1,000? There's a number in the thousands place and there would be zeros behind it. Yes, we are rounding to the nearest 1,000. So question 7, the answer is B. All right, let's go on to question number 8. The college records attendance for the first four games of a basketball season and places the data in a table. So game one had 21,689 in attendance. Game two had 22,896. Game three had 21,468. And game four had 20,561. If each of these numbers is rounded to the nearest thousand, the attendance of which, of which two games would be rounded to the same number. So we've got to go through to all four of these numbers and round them to the nearest thousand. All right, so we're going to go ahead and underline the number in the thousands place and circle the number in the hundreds place. We're going to do that for each of these so that will help us when we are rounding to the nearest thousand. All right, find the place, underline the digit, move to the right now, circle it. Uh, get it? Zero through four, this digit stays the same. Five through nine, add one is the game. So that would round to 22,000 because the 6 tells the 1 to add 1 to it. All right, let's go to this. The 8 tells the 2 to add 1 to it. So that becomes 23,000. The 4 tells the 1 to stay the same. So that becomes 21,000. And the 5 tells the 0 to add 1 is the game. So 1 plus 0 is 1. So that becomes 20 
1,000. And now we can see which two games have the exact same number, and that would be games 3 and 4. So that is letter D. All right, let's go to question number 9. The Mississippi River in North America is 2,320 miles long. The Nile River in Africa is 4,130 miles long. How much longer is the Nile River than the Mississippi River? So the clue words much longer let me know I've got to subtract. So I want to make sure that I put my big number on top. So 4,130 minus 2,320. We know 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. And I can't say 1 minus 3 because I can't take 3 away from this 1. So I have to go to my neighbor, the thousands place, and borrow 1 from them. So that's 4 minus 1. That becomes a 3, which is really 3,000. And then I'm going to give that 1 over here to my hundreds. So that becomes 11. Now, can I say 11 minus 3? I sure can. That's 8. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's 1,810. Now, if you subtract it incorrectly right here and put a 9, you would see that you have this answer right here, but that's not the correct one. The correct answer is D. So make sure you subtract correctly. All right, and let's go to the last question for this today's spiral. Oh, well, excuse me, there's two more, excuse me. All right, let's go to question number 10. Question 10 says the summer space camp can have 19,200 campers. The Summer Wilderness Camp can have 4,525 campers. How many total campers can attend the space and the Wilderness Camp? So we're wanting to find the total of both. We're going to combine those numbers. We're going to put them together and add. So we're going to add 19,200 plus 4,000 525. If you're doing it the U.S. Standard Algorithm way, the traditional way, make sure you line up your numbers. 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry that group of 1,000. 1 plus 1 is 2. The answer is 23,725. So now I've got to find it over here. 23,725. The answer is A. All right, now our last question, question 11. A bread company makes 5,684 loaves of bread in June. In July, the bread company makes 3,416 loaves of bread. How many total loaves of bread does the company make in June and July? Total, we are going to add. Now, before I add, can I look at these choices and see that one of them is absolutely not correct? You should be able to. You should be able to look at A and say, well, that's not going to be it because maybe they subtracted and got that answer. But if we're doing total for both months, we know we've got to add. So our answer has to be larger than the numbers we started out with. All right, so let's add 5,684 plus 3,416. All right, 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is also 10. 1 plus 6 plus 4 is 11. Put down the comma. And 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. So we get the answer of 9,100. And I look down here in my choice, see how they try to trick you. Our answer is D. All right, that is it for today's spiral review. Please make sure that you have your name on your paper and go and turn in your packet right now to the completed work basket.